Well good day everyone, it's Warren here from NQE Overland. Today we're going to look at replacing the worn out old front window stone guard on your JK Caravan. Before we get started on the stone guard, I'll show you the van. It's a 2008 1445 Outback Pop Top. Um, I'll just show you some of the modifications we've made. They're just minor things that cost virtually nothing. Um, first one, because we do a lot of off-road, dirt, dirt road corrugation type uh, Outback trips. Um, I've extended the mud flaps to try to reduce the, um, the stone throw to the rear of the van. And same at the front. Otherwise you get a lot of stone damage all around in here on the back end of the steps. Um, and that's just a bit of uh, that splash guard you bought. I bought that at a truck, at a semi-trailer supply shop. And that's, the rubber is actually a bit of conveyor belt. I just cut up uh, to extend the mud flaps on both sides. Uh, now the wheels, these are a 15 inch wheel. I've just, um, these tyres are less than 12 months old. They're a, uh, a Falcon uh, Wild Peak um, all-terrain tyre, which is great for what we do. You need something with a, a bit of strength and a, a little bit of grip in case you get into that greasy red outback soil with the black soil. Um, the stud pattern on a 15 inch wheel, I believe that's a Toyota pattern. Um, neither of my tow vehicles are Toyotas and so um, they don't match the stud pattern of the trailer which is not ideal for uh, remote travel. We've got a uh, Land Rover Defender with a, um, a 5 stud 16 inch wheel and a Ford Ranger with a 6 stud 16 inch wheel if we were going on any major um, outback trips for extended periods of time which we will be doing in the near future um, I will change that alcohol hub to match the stud pattern of the tow vehicle so that it gives me basically three more spares for the tow vehicle on the front I've got more uh, stone protection here um, as I said we do a lot of dirt road travel <laughs> It's just homemade. The top part actually is a uh, it's an old um, 1980s style mesh windscreen guard that we all used to have on our. I had a 60 series cruiser at the time. That's off that. Once again, conveyor belt, aluminium strip, and that uh, that spray guard from the truck supply sh shops. Um, and it's just aluminium tube bolted together. Now that's been on there uh, more than 10 years. Never had any trouble with it. Makes a huge difference um, to stone damage the front of the van. Um, and you do find that, I mean, that's about a 12 mil, I think, or 10 mil. Smaller stones will go through, but it definitely takes the velocity off them. Minimizes the damage on the front. I've got some, as you can see, the fiberglass damage like that sort of thing from outback travel, but that's inevitable when you uh, embark on those kind of adventures. The jerry can hold it as standard. Uh, comes with the uh, van. I've actually just made a little wooden uh, stand a cradle for it to bring it up a bit so I can run the tap out the side and we can access water without removing the uh, jerry can from the holder. And on the front I've just got a pole carrier where we either put the TV antenna or um, any mats, the outdoor mats go in there rolled up. So let's get into the stone guard problem. Okay this is the original Jayco front window stone guard as you can see it's in very poor condition. Um, well, it's 13 years old, 2008. It's a plastic well, fiberglass. It's got this mounting rail, as you can see. Apart from it, the uh, gel coats all come off it. It's, cra it's cracked. I actually changed the uh, gas struts on it about 12 months ago. And uh, the new gas struts were uh, sufficiently powerful to uh, crack this when I tried to close it. Because it's just deteriorated in the Aussie sun. Queensland sun will do that. As you can see, the um, all these plastic coatings come off and I've just got the, the logo there hanging on looks pretty poor um, I was having trouble with these things they've kind of rusted the locks and seized up so I was trying to replace it now I had a bit of trouble 
find I didn't actually go to JK looking for this part. I actually got the um, new stain guard from Caravans Plus. They're manufactured uh, on order, so when you order it online, um, you give them the size and uh, they manufacture it. I think the lead time was 45 days, but I got it. Uh, I think it was just over two weeks. It was very good service. Um, delivered uh, to my front door, nicely packaged in bubble wrap, no damage, and uh, had no trouble uh, with the uh, entire experience with Caravans Plus um, and the freight system. Very quick service, like I said, even though they said it was going to be 40 days, it was half that. Okay, so this is the front window. It's a Camac window, which JK fixed to all their vans. They come in varying sizes. This van's only two metres wide, so I think this is 1,500 from memory. But when you go to the Caravans Plus website, uh, you just put input the size of your window, and um, it suggests the um, stone guard that fits it. Now, that's an aluminium frame. Uh, these are the old mounting points for the Jayco uh, stone guard, and these were um, screwed into the front wall, as you can see, with gas struts. And up the top, there was a mounting rail that the old um, Jayco guard slid into there, into that portion there. I've left that on because I don't want to take that off and leave holes in the van where there's a possible for water ingress. Now, the new uh, guard, as you can see here, I've already fitted it, um, is actually designed just for the size of the Kamek window and it actually slots into the um, mounting rail that's already built into the window so you don't use the stone guard from the old Jayco system anymore the mounting rail um, and all I had to do and I like this no more gas struts I've just got these friction knobs two stainless steel screws into the aluminium frame and the same with the locking mechanism on the bottom. That's the one that comes with the new guard. That's the old system that JK used. Once again, I'll just leave that in place. It's not hurting anyone. Uh, so very simple installation. Slides in, drill a couple of holes, and uh, Bob's your uncle. Now here's the new guard in place. Uh, you can order it with either uh, this black powder coat frame or white to suit whatever style van you've got. Uh, it comes with these clips, the locking clips, that uh, just, just a little slide mechanism that locks it onto the uh, front of the van. Um, and the friction sliders in place of the old uh, gas struts on the original JK. Now there's one small issue, I haven't had the van on the road yet, there's one small issue we've got to address yet and I'll just show you what that is now. Here's the new uh, stone guard fitted and locked in place. It's very very solid aluminium frame, it's solid as a rock but I've got a gap here with the potential for um, wind uh, and especially uh, bursts of wind from uh, passing road trains that could potentially lift this off. Now the Jayco one is curved, so it was sat flush down here. This one is not now. So what I'm going to do here, and I haven't done it yet, is just get a bit of uh, probably black angle aluminium and seal this gap, uh, attach it with stainless steel screws to this frame, the new frame, so that when it drops down in here like it's locked in place, I've actually reduced or eliminated that air gap. I probably won't worry about the sides. I could do that if I want to do, but uh, I'm going to just put a, like a you know, a 1.3 metre strip or something here, so I haven't got any uh, air ingress uh, while I'm travelling, uh, which could potentially cause issues with this uh, vibrating and eventually failing. So um, that's one small modification I'll have to do before I'm uh, confident that I'm uh, roadworthy. One other advantage of this new stone guard, it's about half the weight of the old fiberglass one, so uh, every kilo saved in a caravan saves you money in fuel. So I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I hope you found that informative, everybody. Uh, the cost of the new go was around $320 delivered. Um, I'm very happy with the uh, installation, the quality of the units, all Australian made. Um, I did find it frustrating, A, that the old one fell apart and just crumbled basically in the sun. Um, and B, I, I didn't really, uh, I had a lot of trouble finding online um, a retailer, and I didn't go to Jayco, um, looking for a second-hand part. Um, it was difficult to, to source this item, so I just thought I'd make this little video make it easier for everybody um, who's had this problem with their JK van or any van that's got these fiberglass fronts. Uh, if you've got a Kamek window on the front of your van, you can buy one of these uh, items online. Um, no, I'm not sponsored by Caravans Plus. I paid for this item. I just thought it was uh, a great service from these people and um, I was very happy with the product. Um, and if you found this uh, video informative, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you're really uh, into... Um, adventure videos and a bit of metal detecting head over head over to our main channel which is nq explorers i'll put the uh, links in the description thanks for watching bye for now